following is a non-profit fan-based project. Metroid is copyright Nintendo and Nintendo EAD. Metroid Prime is also copyright Retro Studios. Please support the official release. Hello everyone, this is the 5th Eye Gamer. Sorry about that. Anyway, time to get back to business. I tinkered with the controls a little bit, so we should have no further jump fire confusion. A, B. Let's go. Yeah, firing around the corner to nail those two pesky toys. No. That should be both of them. Now then. Primary force field controls disabled. Ah, there's another set of controls. Okay. Ah, there we are. Secondary force field control disabled. Let's see. That's set up. It's time to take care of some pirates. Two down. Let's see, where's the third? Well, that's him. Okay. Well, that puts me back. <laughs> Man, he just did not see that one coming. Okay, what's going on? Wait. Mind. <coughs> Transfer of building materials complete. Processing of materials for xenome containment units underway. Report all phase on mutations to science team immediately. All units with useful mutations will receive an increase in pain rations. Elite and trooper candidates are now being selected by command. The crane controls are functional but require power. Okay. There we go. Okay then. Now if that's operational, we can get the pe we can get the moving again. Let's see. Here we are. Crane controls now active. That, that crane just knocked open a wall at, with the missile expansion behind it. Let's see now. Get up there. Oh. <laughs> up we go. Spider ball right now is a bit of proof of concept. Well, we get to see a lot more of it in Echoes and Corruption. But that's a tale for another time. That's the next missile expansion. So... With that all the way, let's continue. I know it lies in. Oh, more turrets. <laughs> you know how freaking awesome lock on free aim is? I'm pretty much demonstrating it right now. That's two down. Hmm. Alright, what's that? Structural integrity of Bendesium gate is low. I get it now. Now 
that's open. I get a feeling we're gonna need this real soon. Knew it! Well, that's another shadow trooper out of my ear. And that's that for them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this on. More missiles, more fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make that my way in there for the time being. We'll get that in a return trip. For now, let's stick to operation parameters. <coughs> well, that's unusual. Ow. Wave Trooper, space pirate armed with wave beam technology. Okay. Talking much, but this is kind of, it's kind of hard to concentrate. Pirates are grinding down your throat. Security battle scan locks in place. Yeah, I'm not gonna get in those anytime soon. Now that thing was scanned. Hmm, what's this? Micro fractures present in Vindizi Blast Gate. Oh, okay. Up we go. Yeah, these parrots are awake to all sorts of things, if you know how to take care of them. That's guy going here. Okay, I'm still Well, that's two down. What's up here? <coughs> Unit ident code EPG8642, batch 23, Elite Pirate Alpha. Yeah, they're using more Bendizium. Apparently, that means I can power bomb the heck out of it. Recommended battle system for elite pirates shoulder mounted plasma artillery can, repulsion shield, wave plate projector. Energy siphon system and retractable wristbands. Recruiting to the Initial project helix experiments with space powered embryos were disastrous. <coughs> the phase on infusion process degenerated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates lived to maturity. Few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. Research team Sayer made a recent breakthrough in which parasite studies, the phase on serene code named Vertigo, were highly successful. Since then, we have successfully used Vertigo phase on with space powered DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached maturity and successfully. And are ready for field testing and training. Okay then. Platform systems active. That should open things up for us. Eh. Oh yeah, it's like the other door is further up. I should get going. I know there's 
pirates there. Oh, wave troopers. Gotcha. Another one. Well, it takes him out. So far, this is. So far, this isn't actually that hard. Seriously, this is a skirmish. Give me a real battle. Security alert, all stations. Bioform, Samus Aaron has made planet fall on town four. The hunter is among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack Aaron on site. Terminal force is authorized. For all signs of Aaron to security command at once. And that should take care of the shield and bring some new platforms down. Still, how long did it take for them to figure out we were even here? Here, something up above. Wait, what is? So there's definitely something up there. Recording to logbook. Okay. Power Trooper. Yeah, these things are... Okay. Bye! Well, he got wasted. I should probably look around for more supplies. Super missiles aren't cheap, you know. Careful. I guess there's nothing to, down here I can use. I'm not hurting for life, though. And now we need, just need to go up. Huh. What's that? Industrial grade pulse beam mining configuration. Attention all units, report to your battle stations. Failure to comply with this outer order is an act of treason. Treason is punishable by termination. Pulse beam online. Oh, they were firing there. Eight percent. Thirty-one percent. Thirteen. Forty-four and... Twenty-three. Okay. Let's see, what did that do? Well, that's open. Okay. I get the feeling that the one ahead is the door we're looking for. Yep, definitely door. Now then. I just need to rotate around some more. Let's just hope it's not aimed at us. Okay, that's that. Now then. Let's point away. Okay, just need to rotate a little more. And I think this should do it. There we go. And one last shot for the road. Whoops. Kind of failed to watch my step. Now let's try that again. Jump. 
and jump. <coughs> Maximum missile carrying capacity increased by five. Sweet. Okay. Hold up. I hear bomb activity below. Oh, wait. That's something else. What's up with these tracks? Mm, could have just dropped below, but what is the fun in that? Okay. I know there's power troopers. Eat it! Bye! What's up when them actually drops a missile this time? Okay. This is where things get interesting. Okay, so... We need to hook this up to that. Here we are. <coughs> huh. Just the way we need to go. And up. Yeah, that cylinder basically just rotates around based on what we do about it. Right, this basically shows the con constitution of the cylinder. Now ground represents the central pillar in the room. Pillar contains several rotating sections. They can be moved to gain access to different areas. Rotation of the pillar will alter the path of its magnetic rail tracks. Now I need to move red over there. <coughs> One and two. All right, as far as power to operate. So now that's done. Let's see. We need to rotate the red columns to line up. One, two, and three. Three. That's more like it. Now let's ride this thing on up. I can hear a pirate activity somewhere. Just can't make out exactly where. Let's see where. Oh, up there. And that looks like some more Bendesium chunks. And there's you. Nice try, bucko. Rotation control unit blocked by a partial collapse of Bendesium wall. Yeah. Let's get a move on. Now I hear bomb activity. I know for a fact that there was a bomb down there. Well, that takes care of all of them. Now we just need to make our way to the next door. That should open the way to phase on mines level two. <coughs> hey, is that the Chozo impact? Is that the impact crater in the Chozo shrine? Hmm, we actually see ourselves descending towards it. And we're gonna be uh, completely underground now. That should give us some much needed missiles. That too. And that too for the kick. kick. Okay. That looks suspicious. And some pirates just died. <laughs> 
that opens that up. I get the feeling we're about to do something really nasty. Force field engaged, deactivation required for access. A shipment of military grade plasma artillery cannons is en route to Town 4. The Edgenoid Star Marines we acquired them from. We're laying them in the warehouse. Our elite pirates, on the other hand, will put them to good use very soon. That's that right. Like. Or is it? Uh, morphology elite pirate. Phase on enhanced space pirate. Incredibly strong, armored, and well armed. <coughs> Elite pirates are potent for foes. Their energy siphon system absorbs beam weapon shots. The nature of this system makes them vulnerable to concussion based weapons. Well armed, the elite pirate is effective in close combat and at a distance. Their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasive and quick attacks. Recording to the logbook. Okay, so we got some new data. Investigations into a possible ingress point for the impact crack continue to meet with failure. Shield of strange eye protects us impermeable. Not that to tell passive, ruined fruitless. Our continued futility in this matter is made all the more significant in light of the recent life form readings we discovered emanating from deep within the crater. Analysis of the readings indicates that the massive creature is gestating there, absorbing enormous amounts of phazon from phazon core at the heart of the impact crater. Discovery makes access, access in the crater doubly important. Not only will it open the door to the vast deposits of phase on within, but also lead us to the creature, whatever it may be. Recording to the logbook. Security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zebes. The alert concerns bioform Samus Aaron, also known as the Hunter. Subject is a female hominid and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle. Along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons, all combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on sight, preferably in a fashion that allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the one unit who delivers Aaron to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. All right, let's get started. Come on out, big boy. You know we know you want some of this. And there we are. Good thing I scanned her. Over. Okay. <laughs> Three super missiles, and he's already out. And it looks like the force fields just shorted out. Many ugly things are on their way. Ow! What the? Wait, is that an ice trooper? Except they can... No, it's not. Well, that certainly hurt. Good thing for that energy tank capsule. <coughs> Based on nutrient fat, you need ration. Really prior rationing the process. Wow. Well, better get back to work. I what this way leads. Ah, I won't be able to go that way for quite some time. Now I should just use the ice beam. Well, that's them down. Now you! Okay then, with everyone gone, it's time to scan. Certainly a lot, since this is a major powered operating sector base, we've got a lot to go through. Another nutrient vat. Okay. Look at all this. Consumption of elite nutrient mix by non-elite units is strictly prohibited. Yeah, 50% ration reduction, that's pretty harsh. 
Security level Tau will be in effect until further notice. Wow, the hunter must be serious business. Bioform Samus Aaron continues to assault her holdings on Town 4. Security has been compromised in multiple areas. Casualty rates are rising. Command has authorized a sizable money for the capture and termination of Aaron. Report to you, field officers, for details. <laughs> Recording to logbook. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus' arsenal based off of d data acquired from her assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aaron's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted with the gauge of morph ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on after. <laughs> well, when you think about it. <coughs> Evaluation of plasma artillery cans is complete. Weapons are fully functional, but flaws have been discovered. Subpar thermal shielding gives them a high heat signature. This can make them an easier target for enemies. Yes. Get that detection again. Yeah. This is compromised. Bioform Samus Aaron has cracked our systems. The hunter can access our system at will. He's able to bypass most of our security programs. Use manual locking systems whenever possible. Metroid aggression levels are rising. Being alert for any test by Metroid escape to the quarantine area. Surge absorption abilities now will disrupt our force fields. We'll continue exposure to phase on and change things for the worse. Facility commands request for elite power transfer to security forces granted. Prepare units 8644 and 8656 for field duty at once. Now this is in case under using morph ball technology to infiltrate our facilities. Recalibrate says to search for morph ball energy signatures. Wow. Just wow. Recording to logbook. <coughs> Results are in from fields for studies in Bioform Group Chozo, which we believe are extinct. We believe Talon 4 was once a stronghold of the great Chozo Empire. Brought low by the meteor strike, planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these rocks and attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all we need from this dead race and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Believe me, if you knew what the heck Phazon could do to you... Although we are still no closer to finding the artifacts of the Chozo, we have at least produced a viable hypothesis for their function. It appears that each of the artifacts corresponds to one of the statues on the temple platform, and that each one acts as a small key to a huge lock. That's the number of statues, and there must be 12 artifacts. Once we find the rest of these spots of all 12, we can break them here, unite them at, with their statues, and open the gate system in long last. Once we do, the impact crater, a bunch of creature shelters, will be ours for the taking. Based on infused fungal harvesting continues, replacement of de Deca Triticale, with phase on infused fungal matter, any elite ration mix has been authorized. Security requests deployment of elite pirates in Metroid quarantine areas. High casualties suffered by standard pirate units in deployed Metroid areas is not acceptable. Reconfiguration of security drones authorized to deploy new drones in mission critical areas immediately. Force field offline access granted. Recording to the logbook. <coughs> We have come to another dead end. It is clear now that we will never discover the location of Chozo's artifacts so we can decipher the messages carved in the statues in this abominable temple. Our language databases are woefully inadequate and our linguistic and now analysts can come up with little more than vague theories. The best hypothesis that we can offer is that finding artifacts will require items spiritually linked to the Chozo civilization. However, without these items we are lost and command grows more impatient by the day, results must be produced soon. Replacement of standard hatch covers continues. Steel will be replaced with cordite and bendesium covers in two deca cycles. Wow, you are begging to be destroyed there. Planetary stealth technology is back online. We have evaded detection by the battle cruiser Emmons. Brief lapse in planetary security caused by the crash of our frigate is over. That can concentrate our efforts on the hunter. Recording to the logbook. Analysis continues on these cursed ruins in the Chozo temples that hover near that was near them. 
We are now completely certain the containment field denying us access to the impact crater is linked to the strange artifacts that belong to the temple. We are no closer in finding them or deciphering the riddles that seem to cover every wall of this ruined place. Grand grows increasingly anxious for a resolution in this matter, so we must redouble our efforts. X-ray squadrons will begin terrain suites within days. So they begin. Patrols are instructed to report any and all architectural anomalies to their commanders. Increase phase one portion of elite power ration by 18%. Wow. Report any signs of ration rejection by elites at once. Recording to logbook. <clears throat> there have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities that chose our rune sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these chills of ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from Noah. Brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing. Only we'd fall by another attack. Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover chills of rocks and artifacts. Somehow these entities are able to interact with the physical world and appears to wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We'll make them pay for such arrogance for even ghosts can be destroyed. Let's see. That should give us a hearty little harvest. Moving on. Up we go. Okay, this could get ugly. I better hustle. Oh boy, just as I thought. They're pouring puffer poison right on in. I don't think we'll be ending it anytime soon. More out. I'm out of here. We'll be back to this place later. Metroids from the initial batch of mature to Hunter Fabi lies Metroid. Hunter Metroid is a siphon tackle. Attack it. Only just close to close combat tactics used by younger Metroids. Increased aggression levels observed in the power units. Increasing phase on feed by 0.7% precise team mandate. Retro activities accelerating in non frigid areas. Okay. I see you. that health pick up. Wait. I know those guys. Bye! You too! There's more. over here and oh I see you bye there has to be another or not let's see now yeah Bendizium wall structure I'm not gonna be able to get through those for some time so I've seen second volunteers for AW training yeah, I can use that. If I drop down there, this could get ugly. For now, let's just focus on this. All magnetic rail system access must be approved by security. Metroids are not responding to synthetic substance. We believe they only need to gain nourishment from active bioenergy sources. Huh. Who'd have thought? Chozo Ruins areas are off limits until further notice. Security breaches in multiple areas. Unauthorized usage of resources continues. Current suggests these resources have been stolen by the hunter. Increase monitoring of all resource facilities immediately. Recon teams are searching for the hunter's gunship. Science team believes it applies a sophisticated cloaking device beyond our capabilities. Aside from dumb luck, we may never discover its location. We must contain or eliminate our and failure to comply. Command decree is not an option. 
damage immediate maintenance required. All available troop support to mine security and I'm not gonna get anything more from down there. EPG 8701 batch 01 alien pirate yeah yeah more more elite parts this is gonna get ugly More advisories and propaganda. Death of the Hunter! Recorded to Longbook. Elite part Upsilon's propensity for Phazon has enabled a research team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant Phazon diet has increased its mass exponentially, but has retained all mental faculties and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma and sanity air launches, and the chameleon manta issued for cloaking purposes. Elite part Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out phase on deposits and coats itself in the substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. Subject, which are codenamed Omega Pirate, based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. My concern at this point is this potential over-depends on phase on. Wait, Battle Simulation Samus Aaron? 74% <laughs> success ratio. Uh... I just wasted the hell out of all you guys. Why are you smoking? And I just killed an elite on the way down. Sorry about that. Increase bomb patrols in authorized areas. Scramble all aerial units immediately. Flight power and Sigma 4 is in effect. Okay then. With that all the way, let's go down. Yeah, I don't like the looks of this. Wait, you got modified for elite pirate storage? No, you learned two folks does malfunction in this panel. Yeah, this is gonna get up real ugly real fast. I know. Phazon processing and security systems are taxed in Dynamo beyond safety tolerances, the conversion of geothermal power is easing the drain our systems is not enough. Further power yields to current levels could lead to system failure. Dynamo maintenance team is not responding to service call, rewriting west to central command. Oh wait, that's a power bomb, what's that? Multiple safety system malfunctions detected, you should be taken offline immediately. I know you're there. Well, that was quick. Once I managed to tag it, I used the sparks to tell exactly which one of them, where exactly it was. Yeah, it was doomed after that. Huh. Well, this is fascinating. Okay. Oh, that's locked. I better get below and get this over with. Ow! Got to be careful. Slow. Whoa! Going. Ah, good thing for that water puddle. Oh, I see. So, sets that off. I didn't need to go through that yellow bar. Pretty much just 
there for the heck of it. Just a little further. No, there. Collect our prize and say goodbye to your precious dynamo, dumbasses. <laughs> Well, that's that. <coughs> when Morph Ball mode, press down to release a power bomb. Power bombs can destroy tougher materials than Morph Ball bombs. With that out of the way, we should probably get back to get to a save station. Hmm. Ah, here we are. This would be a good place to call the day. Next time, we get our butts out of here and try to make some progress in other areas. Well, that's all from here for today, anyway. This is the Fifth Eye Gamer.